welcome to the Prevent Tutorials. This is Deepak Mathematics. In the previous class, we had discussed about some laws of radicals. We will discuss some more about it. We will discuss, I think, up to third law. The fourth law, laws of radicals. I mean, sirs. Radicals can also be called as sets. Okay. Okay. Now fourth one. Fourth one. Okay. Nth root of a. I think already we discussed this. Nth root of a. That can be expressed in an exponential form as a power 1 by n. Okay. Square root of 5. 5 power 1 by 2. Cube root of 7. 7 power 1 by 3, 5th root of 11, 11 power 1 by 5. So, this is the fourth law of radical. nth root of a can be expressed in an exponential form as a power 1 by n. Okay. Now, in the same manner, if you take the fifth law, nth root of a power m nth root of a power m. What happens if a radicand possess a power? This can be written as a power m by n. a power m by n. This power will be the numerator and this order becomes the denominator. To take an example, cube root of 7 power 2. 7 power 2 by 3. How this happens? For example, if I take 5th root of 11 power 3. This can also be written as 11 power 3 whole power 1 by 5. So, this is in the form of a power m, a power m whole power n, which is equal to a power m m. So, according to this, this can be written in the form of 11 power 3 into 1 by 5. So, this is equal to 11 power 3 by 5. Like that, nth root of a power m can be written as a power m by n. In the same manner, square root of 5 power 3. Here, square root means, here no order is mentioned. So, this can be written as 5 power 3 by 2 because if no order is mentioned here, we have to take it as 2, not 1. I already explained in the previous class, if no order is mentioned here, it should be taken as 2 because square root of 5 cube can, be, can also be written as second root of 5 cube. Both are only the same. So, like that, square root of 5 cube can be expressed as 5 power 3 by 2. Okay, next. Come to the fifth, sixth law. Sixth law. Nth root of A plus nth root of B is not equal to nth root of A plus B. Nth root of A plus nth root of B cannot be equal to nth root of A plus B. Okay. At the same time, nth root of a minus nth root of b is not equal to nth root of a minus b. Okay, I can, I can explain this with uh, by taking some examples. We will take some examples to have a clear picture on this law. For example, if I take square root of 16 plus square root of 4. Square root of 16 plus square root of 4. Square root of 16 is equal to 4. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. Which is equal to 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. For example, the square root of 6, 16 plus 4. Which is equal to square root of 20. 20 is not a square number. Can you express the square root of 20 in an irrational form? No. So here... 
square root of 16 plus square root of 4 is not equal to square root of 16 plus 4 because both are not equal. LHS not equal to RHS. So this is LHS. This is RHS. Here LHS is not equal to RHS. We will take one more example. Cube root of 8 plus cube root of um, something we will take it as 27. Cube root of 8 is 2. 2 multiplied 3 times to itself gives 8. Cube root of 27. 3 3 is a 9 and 3 is a 27. Cube root of 27 is 3. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Cube root of 8 plus 27 gives cube root of 8 plus 27 is 35. What is cube root of 35? It is a circle. It doesn't give a rational number. So, are both equal? No. That is why cube root of 8 plus cube root of 27 is not equal to cube root of 8 plus 27. LHS not equal to RHS. Okay, from this what you understood? Nth root of A plus nth root of B is not equal to nth root of A plus B. Similarly, nth root of A will take the same example by taking the subtraction. And cube root of 27 plus, sorry, not plus, minus. We have to subtract, okay? Nth root of A minus nth root of B is not equal to nth root of A minus B. We will take the same example by reversing the terms. Cube root of 27 minus cube root of 8. Cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Cube root of 8 is equal to 2, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Whereas cube root of 27 minus 8, which gives cube root of 90. 27 minus 8 is equal to 90. Okay. Cube root of 90. No same numbers which is multiplied. That means no number which is multiplied 3 times to itself gives 90. So cube root of 90 is a set doesn't give a rational number. So it remains like that. So both are not equal. This is LHS, this is RHS. LHS is not equal to RHS, that means cube root of 27 minus cube root of 8 is not equal to cube root of 27 minus 8. LHS is not equal to RHS. Okay, from this, we can, what you understood, cube root of A, A nth root of A plus nth root of B is not equal to nth root of A plus B. And nth root of a minus nth root of b is not equal to nth root of a minus b. Okay. Next. Okay. Loss are over. The next topic is converting a simple third into a pure third. Simple third into pure cert. Cert. How to convert a simple cert into a pure cert? Okay, you know what is a pure cert? A and root of B if A is equal to 1 so that becomes a pure cert whereas A and root of B which is a mixed cert this can be called a simple cert. Okay. Now, I will take a simple set. I am taking 2 square root of 7. 2 square root of 7. Okay. This is a mixed set as well as simple set. I want to convert this into pure set. How to convert this simple set into pure set? For this, what we have to do is push the 2 inside the radical side. Push the 2 inside the radical sign. 
If you want to push, that means if you want to push the two inside the radical sign, we have to keep the power of the two which is equal to order of third. Here what is order of the third? Two. So keep two as the power of two into seven. That becomes square root of four into seven. Four second, uh, seven fours are 28. Like this. That means if any number is multiplied with a third, you want to convert this into pure third, push the number inside the third, inside the radical sign, and keep the power to the number which is equal to order of the third. Like that, you have to convert a simple third into a pure third. Okay? One more example 3 cube root of 2. This is a simple set. I want to convert this into pure set. So write this cube root of. I want to push the three inside the inside the radical sign. So keep three here and keep the power of this order. So the order is three. Keep the order to this power. That becomes cube root of three cube is twenty seven. Twenty seven into two cube root of 2 sevens are 14, 2 twos are 4, 5. So this is how we have to convert a simple cell into a pure cell. Okay? In the next section, we will discuss how to convert a pure cell into a simple cell. Okay? Hope you understood this video. Thank you very much. Okay? Keep subscribing to Revit Tutorials. Thank you.